That's what it is. Glad you came back. So, that's the first time we've moved this truck. It's the first time this thing's moved under its own power since uh, 99. So we got our carburetor on last night. Um, we just got it hooked up to a, uh, we just got a jug underneath the hood. We're just getting gas out of there for now because we got to get uh, filler neck hose from the filler neck to the tank. They were so dry right we couldn't reuse them. So we still got to tune on the carburetor and fool with that, but at least it runs and it moves under its own power. So now we can go on to our next phase of what we're going to do with this thing. Um, the whole point is we're going to put this thing on the road cheap. Um, somebody at somewhere in its life has had this distributor out for some reason. It's jammed all the way over against the thermostat housing. So uh, the timing seems to be a little off on it. It's got a rough idle. But then again, it also has 20-year-old plug wires, plugs, cap. But the next thing we're going to do is actually instead of reusing the door spark, we're going to install one of these units. And I know some of the Ford guys, your heads are just probably exploding right about now because, oh, Lord forbid, it's got a little bit of a GM in it. Well, here's why I run these distributors. This is me. This is what I do. Some other guys may not agree with me. I run this because it's simple. It's one wire. You can pick your tack up, and you, your power is right there. Everything from my finger full up is all GM. Now, that means the module. That means the pickup, the cap, rotor, and the coil is all GM. Now some guys say, oh, it looks like crap because it sits in the front of the motor and it's big and it's ugly and it looks like a GM. Yeah, it does kind of look a little out of place, but here's the thing. I don't care what it looks like. When the hood's down and I'm running 60 mile an hour, you can't see the damn thing. Now here's the problem with Ford Door Spark. Ford Door Spark is about as reliable as a wet fart. I'm a Ford guy thrown through and I won't convert anything to door spark because it's just unreliable. You got an ignition box over on the fire or on the fender well. Then you got a harness in between there. You got your distributor and you got your coil. You got three pieces and a harness in between all that. And the boxes fail on these trucks all the time. In fact, there's two boxes laying on the floor of this truck when we bought it. Are they any good or not? I don't know. Was somebody having problems? More than likely they were. A lot of times it's a hot start problem if it's driven and it's good and hot and you shut it off and don't want to restart. Um, it's a common problem. So since plug wires and everything are already 20 some years old, we're going to put this baby in, new wires and plugs. And the other thing I like about these things is if any, and that's the other problem, if any of this stuff fails, Nobody really stocks these boxes anymore. Nobody stocks a pickup coil for a Ford Door Spark. But everybody stocks a GM module. Everybody stocks a GM pickup coil, which the pickup coil on a GM distributor never goes bad. Now, in stock trim, these are perfect. If you got a performance motor or something, I totally get you would probably wouldn't want to run on these. In fact, I got this from a good buddy of mine. He upgraded the ignition in his Falcon to an MSD setup. So this, for what he's got, this didn't work real well. But for what we're doing and our purposes that we're doing with this truck, which is just a daily driver, something that we can go to a local car show or whatever, this is perfect. This is a stock 302 with a tube route. That, that's distributor work perfect. I run one in a couple other of my trucks. I've got them in 460s. I've got them in FE 390 motors. I've got them in a couple other 302 trucks. All stock stuff, it works perfect. It's a great upgrade. To get away from points and to get away from the door spark. Like I said, I they're just they're just they're known to be temperamental and just they're not reliable. I mean, especially you're, you're talking this thing's a '79, so we're dealing with stuff that's you know 30, 40 some years old. So that's our next upgrade uh, we're going to do with the truck. Um, we really can't drive it just yet because we don't have a tank in it. We probably could run it up and down the lane out here, but. Uh, we got all the brakes on it. We got them all bled out. They bled out good. We got a good pedal. So next move will be uh, we've got uh, inner fender well, rad support, and a fender. We got a good grill shell. We actually have all the pieces to put it together, uh, and we're going to replace the hood because the hood's just really the real hood's really bad. But um, holler at your boy later. Keep it real. Smash the button, and I'll talk to y'all later.